Hey guys, I'm back in the game with a new video about Cisco Firepower devices. Basically, recent Firepower devices are able to run an ASA image or FTD image, but not both. If you're running ASA image on your FPR device, that's fine. You can still use familiar ASDM application or all the school commands to manage your device. But if you're using FTD, things are different. When I logged into FPR device for the first time, I saw this prompt. It was a little bit strange for me because I expected the host name like any other Cisco operating systems. But I thought that, okay, I'm in a user mode. So if I type enable command, I will go to the privilege mode, but nothing happened when I pressed enter. Okay. So I use question mark and I didn't see enable command around. So I reckon there must be something else. If you are an ASA old school guy like me, you need to know these two commands that I want to show you. The first command is system support diagnostic CLI. This command will take you to something that is more familiar for you. So now if I type enable and press enter, the password is null by default. So if I press enter, I will go to the privilege mode. So now I can run my familiar show commands like show interface IP brief, for example or any other show commands that you were able to run in ASA. But you still cannot manage the device through this mode. There is no any configure terminal command here. Nothing. But at least you are able to run handy show commands, which are not possible to run in the initial FTD mode. The next command which I want to show you is expert command. Expert command will give you a shell access. Although, as far as you can see, this shell access will be deprecated in future releases and it will be replaced with a separate expert mode CLI. But anyway, until then, you can use this command. This command will give you a shell access so you can view the backend log files or if you need to uh, copy the files across for example if you want to copy a log file to your computer and do more investigations on the log files you can use this mode all right we are done for today i wish you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel and put your comments down below see you in next videos